Other types of physical access controls include cable protection. Now, cable protection can go two ways. First, we may want to shield our cables to protect them from emanations. The emanations are the radio waves or the different types of emanations that can be read and can be intercepted. Intercepted emanations can be decoded, and it's the same thing as wiretapping, the same idea of actually reading what's going through the wires. The cabling media choice is another option for physical access control. If you choose fiber optic, there are no emanations going in or out. There's no interference coming in for the signal loss, or there's no emanation coming out where someone can just wrap a sensor around the wire and actually read what's going through the wire. The other type of physical control on cable protection involves putting the cable in conduit or some other physical type of protection. Now that's a little bit different from the emanation issue. Emanation control is trying to keep the contents of what's going through the cable from getting out. Conduit is trying to keep any damage that may exist around the cable from actually affecting the cable. So the conduit is actually protecting the cable, whereas the emanation or the shielding would be trying to protect the actual data going through the cable. Then another type of physical access control would be separation of duties and work areas. Separation of work areas can help minimize shoulder surfing. Shoulder surfing is where you have two people working on perhaps different tasks. If one person can see the other person's monitor, you can easily monitor what that person's doing. You might even be able to watch what the person is typing in. Shoulder surfing is looking over the shoulder and visually watching what the other person's doing. If you separate work areas, again, you're going to minimize that possibility. Also, keeping a single person from completing a sensitive process. Any sensitive process, you may want to break up into two, three, or even more steps. That goes a little bit into the separation of duties, which we're going to revisit in a later control type. But the idea, again, is to keep a sensitive process from being controlled by one particular person. You don't want to have one person who knows too much within an environment where security is a high concern.